All right, I've recorded a bunch of clips. I've performed some edits on those clips, on the notes within those clips. And now I want to build up my song using those clips. Okay, so we've recorded um, some MIDI clips. They're quite short, they're only two bars long. We've got a one bar percussion loop. We need to repeat those clips in order to create a song. Okay, so the most straightforward way of doing that would be to copy and paste them. So let's try that. We'll click on the keys clip here with the grabber tool and we'll copy it from the edit menu. Command C. Um, now, you need to get the selector tool and click where you'd like the edit cursor to be because this is where you're going to paste it. So we'll click there. Luckily we're in grid mode, so the edit cursor snaps to the grid. And then we can do um, paste from the edit menu, which is command V. And that's where it pastes. So let's try that again. Click the edit cursor and paste. All right, that's a little bit clumsy because actually all we want to do is repeat uh, these clips end on end. Um, and so an easier way to do that would be just simply to duplicate. So I've selected the clip again and go to the edit menu, choose duplicate. That's command D. Okay, so command D, command D very quickly duplicates those clips. But an even quicker way, considering we want multiple um, copies of those clips, is to simply repeat them. And that's an option also in the edit menu. Repeat. So that's option R. And we'll have seven repeats. Click OK. Now I'm going to just undo that because I want to show you that you can do that to multiple clips. So edit, repeat, we'll have seven repeats, click OK, there they are. Now the session or song is bigger than we can actually see, so a good tip is to double click on the zoomer, which fits the session and to the size of the window. All right, and then we need to repeat out this percussion loop. Um, it's only one bar long, so we need 15 repeats. Of that percussion loop to get to the same point. Okay, okay let's have a listen. Yep, it's uh, as repetitive as you might imagine from looking at it. So let's just create a quick build. So we'll have the keys coming in first, followed by the bass two bars later, and then, okay, so I shift click selected those clips two bars later by the percussion loop so let's have another listen okay so that's working with uh, midi clips in the edit window of pro tools